Hi, I'm Brian, and I'm going to talk about what that noise is on your car. First, let's hear the noise. We're driving along. It's making kind of a squeaky noise. We're not quite sure what it is, so we're going to investigate. We supported the vehicle and put a jack stand under it. This is my first time using a car gun. So, <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> if your wheel won't come off, see that's on there pretty good. It's not loose. What you can do is turn around backwards like a mule. If it helps, you can <laughs> and just kick it on the side. Sometimes you have to kick them really hard. All right, so we've got the wheel off. And as we turn this, come take a look and see. When you look at the brake pads, you can see that they're worn down. To where the squeaker is. So what's a squeaker? A squeaker is an indicator. Here's a new brake pad to use as an example. But the new brake pad has a little piece of metal that's riveted to the back side and it comes out to give it some vibration, some vibrado. Um, but when it wears down to a certain point it's just going to sound like fingernails on a chalkboard. <laughs> to let you know that it's time to change your brakes. If you go too long without changing your brakes, um, you'll wear down to where it's the metal backing against the brake rotor. And metal on metal, uh, it tends to chew up the rotor and be more expensive to repair. So we'll go ahead and pause the video. For and then once it's free, you pull these bolts out. And then once you pull them out, you take a pry bar and you can either pry against the hat portion of the rotor. Those of you that have service brakes that are drum and hat know what I'm talking about. It's this part right here that you can pry here. You don't want to mar the surface so if it takes very much effort um, don't pry in this position but basically you can pry out a little bit and you can see that the piston of the caliper is starting to compress. You pull it out, set it on top so that it doesn't stress the brake hose. We'll take a look at our pads. This one, you can see it's a little shiny here because we've got a little bit of a lip from wear on the rotor. And then this one, I'll take the pry bar like this and then with my other hand I'll hit it against there and just kind of free it up and out. When we look at this and we hold it in the light, you can see that it's a little bit shiny right there. You see that kind of glisten? There we go. That shine that you see right there is uh, the culprit of our noise. Basically the pads have worn down to an even level with the indicator and that's what's making it squeak. So <laughs> that's what that noise is. Sometimes when your brakes squeak it's the indicator and you need new brake pads. Other times when it squeaks you have an excess of dust. These are disc brake rotors. When you have disc, you have a disc shape. When you have drum, it's just a round drum. It's like a big old popcorn bowl with uh, brake shoes that are curved that go inside. Those don't get the dust out so well, and they're very prone to squeak. So if you have drum brakes, maybe you just need to clean them out with some brake cleaner. Put a pan under it, get the brake cleaner, and spray it after you pull the drum off. If you have disc brakes, it could be that they're glazed. Maybe you were driving in the canyon and used the brakes instead of downshifting, and these have become so hot they turn to glass. Can you imagine glass on metal? That's bound to squeak. That'll wear out over time and you'll be okay, but uh, oftentimes it is the indicator squeaking, and that's what it is. If you like the video, be sure to click subscribe. It's the gray button above. Uh, if you can click add to down arrow favorites and uh, save it for later or watch it at a friend's house. Um, if you like the video, click thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Thanks for watching.